I got most of fire control group in. Just pull it, that motherfucker, and just work. Alright, try that again. that to smash but let's what's going on so you know everything is in except for the bolt catch which you know it's kind of it operates independent so it don't rely on anything to stay in place so I can put it in later when I find the pin because I lost the pin that's supposed to go in that hole right there lost that pin you can see that hole right there there's a hole right there. I don't know if you can see it. Lost it. So, I'm going to be on the floor looking for that for another hour. I finished it up pretty quickly. i just been looking for that pen. Decided to continue without it. And now I'm going back to try to look underneath the bed on the floor. Because, again, my little brother stole all my gun parts. And, you know, I don't have any of that oops protection kit. If I had that kit that I had before... When I was building guns, double star ooze protect, I would have been done already, completely fit. What's up, YouTube? It's your main man, main. I'm back again, you know. After such a long hiatus and whatnot, which I explained, it's a Glock. I'm boxing it. It's the one. It's a small case, smaller than what I'm used to seeing. You know, this is the first time that I even purchased a brand new Glock. Besides the build videos, those don't count as an actual Glock. Though, you know. G Lock, big G Lock case, big G Lock energy. <laughs> this was going on. Yeah. So let's get get the camera down and see this bad boy. Yeah. This is it. And here it is. Check it out. What you got is the Glock handgun itself. It came with a magazine inside of it. Nine rounders. It come with three of them. So, the handgun. <clears throat> this little cleaning brush. Cleaning brush tool for the barrel. And I guess these go together. Anyway, yeah, it's screwing right in. There's this. And I guess it's so you can unscrew it, put this part, the plastic, through the barrel, and then screw it on the other end of the barrel and pull it through. Without having to go in and out like that. Pretty cool. Back scraps. Feel like a pen tool for the pens. That's so you can push the pen out easy. Pretty cool. Check that out. Might use that. In the back scraps. Or they. Determine the size of this tail right here. I'm gonna lock this little tail. Put this back strap on. You get a bigger tail. I'm I'm okay with this tiny one because look at how it hit my fan. I'm gonna hit, fit my hand. I say hit my fan. That's pretty uh pretty good to me. I'm okay with it. So come with back straps. Come with a magazine loader. Here's how to use it. Gonna put them on this way. Oh, I'm mistaken. Anyway, this way. I got a I got a magazine loader, but it's not this one. And uh, press down, put a round in. And I guess it, it starts working after you put the first round inside. I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of this. Oh, it's, it's working already. Just that I had it on some cushion. And I'm not the biggest fan of this thing already. So I got one that works way better. 
it's like spring power. You gotta squeeze it, push it, squeeze it, push it. I, I use it. I used it to load the ETS in uh in one of my videos that I think YouTube took down when they did the whole building guns is van thing. So that's what's going on. Safety, you know, shooting about safety and whatnot. It's a little envelope full of stuff. It's thick, so you know it's a bunch of papers inside of it. And uh, the safety lock. Will I be using this? It's probably never coming out in plastic packaging. But the fact it's included is nice in case I have to use it's like, uh, let's say I take my handgun somewhere where they say you need to lock your barrel. You need to do this and you need to do that. We got safety requirements at this place, but you got to do these things. I don't have to go pick one up because it came right inside the package. So that's a big plus. And that's it. Nothing else underneath there. Except this. These rules and whatnot. Though. If you haven't seen them, you know, don't do not store a loaded pistol inside of this, I guess. The case. You know, the only thing that I would suggest that this case have is like a safety lock, safety lock hole so I could put a lock box on it. And I think if it has safety lock holes, then this case itself would be TSA approved so you can fly with it. So now, you know, you buy a Glock 27, that's what this is, generation five. And with this case, you can't fly, you can't fly with this case. You gotta buy a new case. You know, that's what's going on with this. Decent, decent gun. At least in my eyes, you know, I'm a big fan of Glock. Always was. Big, big fan. Big Glock fanboy energy. You know, it's a nice gun. Be able to. I got some night sights too. Look at that barrel. Ooh, ooh it's empty. Why can I still see the striker though? Oh, is that a buddy? That was around. I don't know. It's safe now. Pretty decent little guy. I don't know what I want to do to it. I know this. This uh, slide release, extended. These night sights, I mean these U-Ball Glock sights, getting replaced. Might fancy it up and get a back plate with something neat on it. Am I gonna put a switch on it? Most definitely not. You know, <laughs> I'm not putting a switch on no Glock unless it's something I just want to play with. I this is a carry gun. I'm in Georgia. We got constitutional carry. You know, so yeah, I'm actually gonna carry this daily. Anyway, it's a generation five. Serrations to the front and back. As a matter of fact, check this out. That was a bullet. Tells you kind of what's inside the packaging right here. G27 Gen 5 FDA. I think that's a three, what is it? Yeah, right here. Three nine round magazines. Three nine rounders. Case, I remember Glock cases being a lot bigger, but I think it's cause this the baby Glock. You know, all the Glocks I seen get unboxed, I think it was like a 19 or 27, and the cases was bigger than this. But I'm a baby Glock, I'm a, man of, I'm a fan of small guns, and I'm a fan of Glock. So the 26 and 19, only naturally appeal to me. You know. <laughs> hey, the first gun that I built was a uh, 26 for the same reason. Like, man, I wanted something small, easy to carry.
all that good stuff. But look at this. A lot of people say Glocks is ugly because they they boxy, but not me. My man, this simplicity and the boxiness of it kind of what make it so appealing to a lot of us Glock fanboys. In terms, a lot of people who tote Glocks and all that. If you don't tote a Glock or if you don't deal with Glocks, then you won't know. But this is the internals. Real nice. Ain't really well if you ask me it's not really special inside here because I'm so used to seeing it. But it's generation five. I don't know all the tweaks of the generation five, but I know the extractor is different. I mean, yeah, the extractor. If that's what this is called again. Ejector. <laughs> the ejector. The extractor is here. This is the extractor. This is the extractor. It takes the bullets out. <laughs> I stay squinching. I really can't see. But anyway, this is the extractor. This is the ejector. That's uh, that's it. Generation five, uh, twenty-seven. Perfection. It's your main man, main. You know what I'm about to come with. Oh yeah, it's ambidextrous. Before I leave the video. Yo, just slide release here. It's slide release here. Also, this magazine release can be swapped to either side, depending on your, you know, your preferred shooting hand. So there's that. It's kind of pretty much fully ambidextrous or semi-amidextrous. Anyway, it's your main man, man. Glock 27, unboxing. Take it easy.